It says 20 minutes. Dude, people get so mad about intro. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm sorry, I didn't, time flew today, man. I didn't know it had been 20 minutes. Um, but I also was making, uh, I was making uh, enrichment. Frick long intros. How about you just don't watch 96? That would be fine with me. I would feel fine about that if you want to just leave and come back. Okay. Um, yes, I tweeted. I was tweeting. I was trying to figure out how to word this tweet too for the marmosets. Um, there's like a fine line when you when you have rescues like this, where tweeting, you don't want to sound too activisty, even though it's exactly what this is, because it'll make people mad. You know what I mean? So I was, I was like very carefully wording the tweet. It took me a while. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, just gotta be careful. Thank you for the bits. Um, hiding the other broccoli. Yeah, actually true. Activism certified Twitter moment. No, I don't know how to explain it. It's like something about when you use really strong language and you sound like an animal rights advocate or something, it like triggers people and then they get mad. So I was, I was wording carefully. Um, but here we are. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to move-in day. It's a very different kind of keeping stream today. We've been working very hard on the Marmoset enclosure. We'll go check on it right now. Connor's still finishing it up, um, which is fine because we are going to, um, we, we are going to, 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 to distribute other enrichment today. Um, but let's go see where he's at so that we have an idea for how long we should stall. I'm going to grab water on the way. I'm so hyped. I'm so glad. Hold on. Don't point it this way. Okay. We're good to go. I'm going to get water, and I'm going to open this chat phone. How's it going, folks? How's it going? Hi. Hello. Hello. Ooh, the boys. Big day. Check out this enrichment that I made. Hold on, I need to, need two hands. These are for the macaws, these are for the littles, these are for the rats, these are for the crows. Lots of paper cups today, lots of paper cups um, from the wish list, from the P.O. box. Ooh, fun, exciting. Please. Mwah. Excited to see some monkeys? Me too. I, you know, I wasn't gonna stream this bit. Like, I wasn't gonna stream putting them outside. Because when I say they've only ever been in a cage inside, I mean, they've only ever been in a cage inside. They've never been outside. And so I don't really know how it's gonna go. They have a 20! Hello. Um, I have no idea how this is gonna go, right? Like, it, they may be super happy and jumping around and like game to explore and they might be really overwhelmed. And in the case that they're really overwhelmed, um, Monkey time smile. thank you. In the case that they're very overwhelmed, we might have to take them out um, and then like slowly, gradually introduce them to this enclosure. Cozy reset for four months, monkey time. Less than three, thank you for all you do. Thank you for the four months. Um, why do you always walk behind me? It makes me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You always walk behind me. It makes me uncomfortable. That's because you walk fast. Okay, walk faster. <laughs> um, um, I hate this guy. Uh, if they're very stressed, we're going to have to slowly introduce them to this enclosure. So we'll have to take them out and then... Um, bring them back in like increments and increase the increments slowly. Um, there's also a chance that we take them in overnight tonight, just like to ease the transition a little more. I, call me crazy, uh, I'm genuinely considering sleeping in there tonight, not inside the enclosure with them, but inside the extra, the room, the storage room that we have, um, just so I can like be there. I don't know if, if like stuff goes down or they freak out at night. Or whatever. Hey, how are we looking? Just uh, doing the last few tiny things. The only thing I need you to do is a safety check. 
Is what? Safety check. Mm-hmm. Wow. August 144 is Wow. Um, <laughs> need to make sure there's no, nothing poking out that can hurt them. I've already grinded down. Um, there's a spot I think I forgot to show you for grinding. Inside? Yeah. I found one. Anyone Inside the... Up? No, it's in the hide. Oh. So sorry. Wait. Oh, I changed it. Oh. There's Saved. a good way to grind in there. Okay. Excellent. Welcome to the inside of the enclosure, everybody. I don't know if it's in here. We have cams, though. Check that out. It works, too. Space, can you show them or no? Does that not work? Hmm? <laughs> huh? You know what's bad about the Harvest Men? What? They poop on the walls. Do they? They stain the walls. All the little dots in there. Poop stain? Poop stain. No! So I tried to get off as much as I could. But. Oh, that's okay. Um, okay, let me give you guys a little MTV crib tour. So, these are four by four posts. They're wow. in the ground, obviously. Calculator! Thank you for the four gifted sub. Thank you for the four gifted subs. Um, if you see any little strings, pull them off too. Okay, we got four by four posts here. We have pecan wood. Um, I went to, I went and sawed these off at my neighbor's property. So our neighbor donated this pecan, these pecan branches to help it be a little more natural. Hey! You're not allowed to be in here anymore. I've been removing them all yeah. my... Where'd you go? Hey! <laughs> this is a Harvestman. Banks Carver sub for the first Harmless time. Arachnid. No, hey. You can't be in here anymore. You don't know this, but... You're about to get eaten by a monkey. I know you wouldn't expect it, but that's what's going to happen. So you got to be out there. Anyway, um, so four by fours, pecan wood. We have a bunch of branches, all of these ropes. Um, for 24 months. Oh. Happy monkey day. Okay, well, that one's not. Um, all these ropes are like club removable ropes. <laughs> Um, so that it's easy to clean in here and move everything about. These are hanging ropes for enrichment. Um, and so we can, we can hang their enrichment on here. They obviously have platforms up here. They have platforms everywhere. There's a cargo net in the corner. These we're unsure about. Um, unsure about like if they'll use, okay, we, I'm unsure that they'll use. Uh, these are monkey bars. <laughs> hey! <laughs> They're easy to take down if we need to. He doesn't know that I'm saving his life. Excuse me. Hey, 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 oh shit. <laughs> Evicted. Um, those hides are special, they're cat hides actually. T84 underscore plus underscore calculator just gifted five tier one subs. Oh, space brought up the cam. Cool. Thank you for the, thank you for the five. Thank you so much. Um, there are monkey bars. Those are cat hides, uh, and we got them so that you could see into them with the live cams. Um, this is a banana tree. His name's Banan. Uh, he was a hundred dollars. They love banana. Hey! <laughs> There's three of them. Chlorbid, thank you for the five. Can you, can you open the door? How are you going to get rid of those ones? I don't know. Can you open the door? I don't have any hands right now. <laughs> Thanks. There's another one on the door. 
handed. Everybody out. <laughs> He's got to go. He needs to associate this enclosure with trauma so that he doesn't get eaten by a monkey. Yeah, I know, man. I don't really know. Look at up there. Guys, hey! <laughs> Everybody out! <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Um... We're gonna come in here if it F's tell me, but I want to show you the inside. We're not, this music is not for them. We'll, it'll turn off when they get here. Thank you for the sub. Um, okay, this is uh, their inside enclosure. So they got big cargo net, they have a ton of ropes, they have a basket for sleeping, they have more hides in here. There's also a live cam above you, right there. Um, but yeah, this is their inside enclosure. They have the inside part, we'll show you on the outside just because the Fs. Um, they have doors, so they'll have access to inside and outside when they want to. These are Brazilian monkeys. Um, they're not built to withstand Texas heat, and so that's why they have AC in an indoor space. We'll also probably lock them up at night um, for our sanity, so they can sleep inside. Water bottles. They get new water bottles. Yeah. Okay, Connor, we're gonna go um, distribute enrichment, say hi to everybody else. Okay. And then. This is my last bit. Oh, oh safety check. Did you look, can you check over all the perches? Make sure I'm not crazy and check the wire. I want Kayla to do that too. Okay. Chat, we're safety checking. If I get a nail in my hand, so be it. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> Damn it. I don't want to go all the way outside. Put them in your pocket for later. Yeah. Goats are out. Oh no. Don't. So far, it looks pretty good. I saw this and I was like, <gasps> it's not in the wall yet. Hey! Are you still in my pocket? He's not? Yeah, he is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he liked it in there. <laughs> yeah, it did. It was dark. Hamlets are resubbed for two months. <laughs> okay, he's fine. Okay. Um, this side looks good to me, looks good to me, looks good to me. We also built this, like, with the marmosets in mind, so I'd be very surprised if there was anything sticking out. We double wired this whole enclosure, you guys. This was the, I don't know if you can tell, it's probably hard to see. This was the crow wire. It's smaller gauge, but um, it's been there a while. So then Connor also did this wire and it's coated in rubber. It took me three days. Took him three days to put up all this wire. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Also, we buried, there is wire buried around this enclosure into the ground so nothing can dig in, but then we also put chicken wire under the subst- Hey! It's exhausting. You want it? Wait, you should hold it. Oh wait, you like these. <laughs> it's a baby! Wow! <laughs> Did you like it? Mm -hmm. Loved it. Um... I like these. Yeah, they're nice. Flip in. Cool. So, oh, and you can fill from the top. Cool. I mean, we'll take them inside and like wash them every right. day. Well, you can wash them from each side. Oh, cool. That's nice. So. Oh, I see what you're saying. Wow. 
Nice. Selfish, the Selfish, thank you. Um, so yeah, there's chicken wire on the bottom. It was a bitch. Me and Space and Kayla did that yesterday. For the first time. I don't like working with chicken wire. It's annoying. Hey, Kayla. Yeah. Can you do a safety check inside and outside um, in the near future? Yeah. Um, I made enrichment for everyone. I'm going to distribute it all. Um, and then come up here and do more safety check. Hey, 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 hey. Finish everything. And then we'll be good. No. Yeah, I you, like, you oh, know. What? I don't like it. Don't say that. It feels weird. They're stronger than you would think. Saved them. Um, and then the substrate is pine mulch because it's non-toxic. Not that they're gonna eat it, but like, I don't want to be like extra super duper careful. All right. You guys ready to go say hi to everybody else? Should we do some rounds? I need my water. Sorry. Save. Okay. Time to go do rounds. Time to check on everybody. I'm excited. I'm excited. We can give them their enrichment. It's a hot one today. Oh no. Oh no. The tree? scary man we're gonna go say hi to everybody okay give them treats you can come 500 bits texas eats b come on good girl you're good girl you want some gatorade come on she said yeah oh we have to buy our turf like this you know, we use turf for perches and stuff. Uh, we have to buy lead-free turf because our parrots eat it, or they, not eat it, but they chew on it. Um, so it can't have any lead in it. Uh, so we have to buy it in bulk. And so we started cutting pieces for the marmoset enclosure. Um, and then Connor and Space have to wrap this up with twine and then move it into the barn. I'm not helping because I am, I'm an executive director, you know, I like to delegate and we all have our strengths here at Elvis. Strength is not one of my strengths. So I hand those things off, you know. <clears throat> okay. Number one, give Beetle Gatorade for being a good goat. Because she came all the way over here because Connor yelled at her. Ruthless CEO, I, I mean, guys, I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't move that, even if I wanted to help them, so. Gay the raid. You're saying Space and Connor are buff gigachads? They're both very strong, very strong. Gain to raid. It's a hot day. Beetle needs her electrolytes. The other goats are fine. <laughs> Where is she? Beetle! <laughs> Here she comes. Gain to raid. Oh no, Kylie's coming. Hurry.
<laughs> no, Kylie, it's not for you. Okay, they're splitting it half now. You don't even like it. Never mind. Beatles mom. Imagine doing that to your kid. Okay. The goats have been have received their electrolytes for the day. Still going. Okay, for enrichment, do you guys want to see the parrots, the crows, or the rats get their enrichment first? What do you think? What do you think? Rats! Whoa, what the heck? Wait, why are you... That's so, is it just because we're here? No goats in the nut house. No goats in the nut house. No. Because I love rats, I love the rats. Oh, okay. Check it out. You like rats? <laughs> here they are. <laughs> Look, it's Chips Ahoy. Hi, little rat. Chips Ahoy and Nilla Wafer were going to be feeder rats for snakes. Now they live here. I think their animal quest is next. No, Chips. Take an enrichment. No, no leaving. Chips gets, they get let out every day. So she wants to go out. This for you. Do you want it? Do you want one? No chips. No, no chips. No chips. <laughs> Do you want this? It, no chips. Chips, chips, chips. <laughs> no escape. <laughs> she, they really like getting let out. She causes a lot of ruckus in here. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I. <laughs> No, I'm giving you enrichment. <laughs> you can have enrichment. Only enrich chips. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Please. <laughs> okay. Five hundred bits, rat jam. Thank you for the bits, guys. Here. For you. So she has, they have all three of these levels. This cage is mess. <laughs> she still wants to be out. They get let out every day, don't worry. She'll get out today, just not right now. Okay, uh, do you guys want to do parrots right now or crows? Let's do parrots, because Kayla's cleaning. Sorry for making it seem like you had a choice. Oh, we can also give the parrots um, new toys from the P.O. box, look. Thank you for the sub. Wow. 
Step zero sum for the first time. Stefan, thank you. Woo, new toys. Yeah, 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 yeah. New toys. Um, thank you for the sub. We'll give all of these to the parrots today. If you guys want to get toys for the parrots, uh, we do have an Amazon wish list that you can check out if you want. Um, they love all of these. I'm really excited to give these to them. But then I also made them these. So the parrots every day they get foraging enrichment, so an enrichment item that has food in it. So these have like little sunflower seeds in them. Um, and then they also are now getting non-food toys just so that they have something to chew on all day. Oh, can we yoink the UCB? I bet we cannot. Uh, maybe we can. No, Connor has it. Thank you for the, thank you for the seven months spoiled. Yeah, they're, yeah. <laughs> they are, they are. Hello. Do you see that spider? Yeah. Tragic. Sorry, good luck. Um, I had a brown recluse in my sink this morning. Um, brown recluse, for those of you who don't know, um, if we're talking like dangerous spiders in the US, pretty much all you got is black widow and brown recluse. Um, you're not gonna die from a brown recluse bite unless you're a child under seven, then maybe. Um, but then you shouldn't be watching the stream. Uh, but it is, it's a necrotic venom, and so it can cause ulcers, it can cause gangrene, it can cause, like, permanent scarring, severe pain for, um, up to several weeks. So you don't want to get bit by one of those. Um, and there was, uh, there was one in my sink this morning. I'll show you a picture when we get in the shade. There's no way you'd be able to see it right now. It's way too bright. Parrots! Siren! Siren! That's Siren. Wow, that was nice. You guys are musical. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the Parrot Aviary. Yes, thank you, Siren. That is lovely. Very nice. Very nice screaming. Alberti. Alberti. Hi. What do you mean? Mia, do you have anything to say? She doesn't like it. Sorry, do you have anything to say? No, don't eat. What do you mean? What do you mean? What? Funny. I don't know. What else? She 
just wants to eat it. Is that funny? <laughs> Wow, she's amazing. That was a good one. Siren has lots of, uh... Aw, that's nice, Mia! Ooh. Hi, bird. You wanna, you guys wanna hear some of Siren's? Siren's got, Siren's got a lot to say, I'll show you. The macaws don't have a lot to say. I didn't think you were gonna come in here. You scared me. <laughs> um, guys, big news. Uh, we were asked the other day if we wanted three blue and gold macaws. Three more Ticos, anybody? What do you think? I said no. <laughs> Hello? Simon, can you come here? Can you step up? That's nice. Wow, what do you think? Can you say hi? Say hi. Hello. Okay, that's nice. You say hello. Can you sing? Hello. It was kind of her trying to sing happy birthday, but she can do it better. Sorry, can you sing happy birthday? Hello. Birthday. Hello. Good job, that's so good. Wow. Um, she gives kisses, kiss noises, if you say I love you. And um, she laughs if you go, she laughs if you go, what's so funny? What's so funny? Is that funny? She's not dropping the food. Uh, you wanna look really close? She is uh, taking the shell off the sunflower seed, look. Okay, that time she might actually be scared of the camera and she might have actually dropped it. It's okay. There you go. Good job. What do you think? Reticulated, thank you for the sub. What else? What else am I missing? What else does Siren say? She said hello, birdie. You say hello, birdie. Hello, birdie. Hello. Okay. <laughs> hello. What about hi? Can you say hi? Say, oh, there's Birdie. Can you say hi? Hi. Birthday. Can, can you say hi? Hello. Hi. Hi, Birdie. Hi, Birdie. Hi. Hi. Can you just say hi? Hello. Just hi. Hi. Hello. Okay, it's, that'll work. She can say hi. She can say hi. One more. Birthday. Hi. Birthday. Happy birthday. Hi. Happy birthday, if it's your birthday. Thank you, Siren, very nice. Mia, what about you? Can you say hello? She can, but she won't right now. Siren, don't. Siren, don't. Siren, don't, don't. Hello, Birdie. Hello, Birdie. Can you say hi? No. Hey, 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 over here. Over here. What doing? What doing? That was a good spin. There you go. All right. Now I have no more seeds. That's it. There's no reason to fight over there. Thank you very much. No. Ah, ah, ah. Over here. <sighs> Don't growl at her. That's too hard for them, huh? doing? I'm hanging it up for you. Um, actually, fun fact, I think this is, this is not quite the same, but this was like the same thing. 
So this is a wish list gift. If you want to get the birds toys, I put more on the wish list yesterday. Because this is what they do to them. So they need new ones all the time. Here you go, ma'am. This one's for you. There you go. Are you scared of it? Do you not want me to? Okay, if you're scared of it, I'm not going to trap you there. I don't know why you'd be afraid of this, though. You know, come over here. Me a bird. I'll leave it over there. How about that? Don't fly away. Mia is flighted. She can. They're all. All of these birds have um, flight feathers, so they can fly. Um, Siren cannot because she's permanently missing tail feathers, so she has no brakes in the in the air. Um, okay, we'll go give these to the macaw. Hello. Do you want? Uh, now that Siren's gone. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? No. She likes men. <laughs> it's fine. Don't take it personal, guys. Don't worry about it. I feel fine about it. All right, macaws, here we go. One for Tico. Another for Miley. Come here, Miley. There, Tico goes. Check her out. Wow. <laughs> Sunflower seeds in there. Macaw beaks are very, 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 very strong. Um, they can chew through paper. Obviously, they can chew through wood. And they can chew through skin. Tico is a blue and gold macaw. Tico was uh, dropped off in a box outside of an SPCA in California, or like a humane society. So someone had Tico as a pet and then realized that they didn't want Tico as a pet and then just left her in a box. Miley was rescued uh, from a parrot rescue in California. Miley, there is a whole extra one for you. That is kind of crazy. Okay. Hi. Tico, that's more seeds for you because you already got some out of there. Miley is a Catalina macaw. Um, a Catalina macaw is a hybrid between, um, can you shoot Miley? Miley is a hybrid between a scarlet macaw and a blue and gold macaw. Um, so it's a captive bred bird. They're not naturally occurring. Yay, go Tico. A wine mixer, you say. It is called a Catalina Macaw. Rainbow bird? Yeah. Yeah, they're dropping seeds, though. Siren will go down and get them <laughs> later. <laughs> Yum, paper. They are gorgeous. They do not talk. Um, their, their previous owner said that Tico talked. I have never heard Tico talk. They are capable, they are not missing feathers. Um, they are capable of flight, uh, but they have never, Miley has never flown. Um, she just grew up in captivity, just like never learned to fly, I suppose. Um, and then Tico has flown, but has not flown since we've had her here since April of 2021. Uh, we plan on training them to fly, which is gonna be really, really cool for their welfare and really cool for you guys to watch and potentially one of the uh, dumbest things we've ever done because I don't know how I feel about having flighted, biting macaws, but it'll be good for them, so we will figure it out. You guys want to see a Tico feather? They're actually really cool. This is a feather that Tico naturally dropped, it looks like, today. Blue and gold. Blue and gold. Blue and gold macaw. Blue, gold. Blue, gold. Feathers are really cool. They're super soft. Um, but also, all of feathers, how do I explain this? All of the, can you tell, can you see that there's like individual, whatever? Here, if I like spread it out a little bit. 
See, that's a bunch of individual things, but they're all barbed, so they interlock with each other. And they're really cool, because if you separate them, um, they have a cool ability to just, like, lock back up and become perfect again. Um, which is why birds don't always look super scraggly, even though their feathers get messed up. Kind of cool, huh? Nature's amazing. All right, let's put up these uh, extra toys. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we go like this. Macaws, littles. Because Mia really likes the huge ones for some reason. So we're going to give her this. Nature's crazy. Nature's crazy. Mia, this one's for you. Okay. And then we'll give them a little one. I'm going to go put it over here. The macaws are making a mess. Thank you for the three months. This one over here. I'm going to give this toy to the macaws because the littles aren't liking it very much. Oh. Flip, can you put it there? On that branch? Thanks. <laughs> okay. Um... Any toys that can last a long time. These last a pretty long time. It takes them a long time to get through one of those. People talk, wow. What other kind of it's birds are you open to getting? We have a lot of um, birds that we would like for our education program here. A vulture is really high on that list. We've talked about red tails. Um, we've talked about owls. We already have crows. We have parrots. We have an emu. Wow. No waterfowl. Thank you for the 18 months. Eagles are a possibility. What do you think, Tico? Oh! Sheesh. Keep your head on a swivel, guys. Yay! Tico likes it. I take a picture for the for Twitter. Please don't look mad. Yay! So fun! <laughs> no, you look angry. All right, I'll leave you alone. Thank you for your time. Um, Zombarinos, thank you. Uh, Shep, thank you for the 14 months. Did you get a falcon again? <sighs> Maybe. I, I don't know. Falcons are tough because if I had a falcon, I would want to be able to free fly it, and I don't really have the time to go out. It's, it's, you have to, like, fly to a... Oh, my God, that really was from a sunflower seed. What the hell? That's a whole-ass sunflower. I did not know. Ella said that that looked like a sunflower because there are so many sunflower seeds in here, and one must have just, like, fallen in there, and now it's a whole... That's crazy. Cool. Okay. This is a crepe myrtle. Um, I don't have time to free fly a falcon at the moment, and I would want to be able to do that, I feel like, if I had one, unless it wasn't a flighted bird, obviously. Mia has found... Oh, my God. She has destroyed it already. <laughs> parrots are super destructive, so one of the reasons we have the parrots is because they're very popular in the pet trade. It's legal to own parrots, um, but... They make for really challenging pets. They're very smart, um, and they can live, six, these guys, like 50 to 60 years. And they're super destructive, and they're very loud. And so a lot of times people get them and then realize that they can't have them, and a ton of them end up in rescues. But the demand is still high enough to where they are captured out of the wild for the pet trade, and that's really bad for wild populations. Uh, Skizzers, thank you for the three months. Okay, Siren. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have fun. Goodbye. All right. All righty. I got it. 
Let's go give the crows and the foxes enrichment and then go do the monkeys, guys. Let's go see the monkeys. Chicken! Chicken! The monkeys are from Brazil. Are we actually getting to see monkeys today? I'm excited, yes. Yeah, that's the whole stream today. I mean, right now we're just stalling so that the enclosure can get like all finished and perfect. But um, yeah, that's the stream today is moving our monkeys into their new enclosure. Do you guys want to see the chicken really quick? Make a quick chicken stop. Hello. Don't scare them, okay? <laughs> You're gonna freak them out. It's a little, a little forward. This is Stompy. Stompy has a massive trachea. You want to hear this? It's to keep him cool. Pop, wow. Do you hear all that wind? Turbo wind Isn't that for the crazy? First time. Could you hear it? Ow. Anyway, Stompy likes rings. Can you, you're being a lot today. Can you just like, do I not usually have hair ties on my wrists? <laughs> Stompy uh, is not heavy breathing. Uh, he's just trying to stay cool. Maybe after we put the marmosets in, we can... Uh... Are you okay? Stompy, do you need, do you need, do you need a bath? Oh, you poor chicken. The poor chicken is so hot. This is an Australian bird, so he actually is like very well adapted to heat. Um, he's just being like a little dramatic right now. And he's really hot. <laughs> Stop me. Okay, come here, guys. We're going to do this really quick. I know, I know I said we do all that other stuff, but I feel bad. Come here, chicken. Come take a bath. It's a dinosaur? It is, yeah. Um, birds are dinosaurs, these ones especially. Look at the, the skeletal comparisons of emus compared to like terror birds and other theropods. Theropods are dinosaurs like 60 million years ago. Uh, two legs, three toes. That's where all 10,000 plus species of our modern day bird evolved from. And Stompy just looks exceptionally dinosaur-like. Don't say peepo nerd. Oh, Stompy's pool just got cleaned. It's filling up. Stompy, this is like ideal. Who are you? What the hell? Is that a spider with an egg sac? Is that what that is? Looks like it. Dude, that's crazy. Hold on. Oh, it's alive. Are you okay? Holy shit. Oh my God. Whoa, poor guy. Are you okay? That was really traumatic, huh? Some kind of spider, isn't it? I think it's a wolf spider. Oh, he's got his he little egg his bit. Egg. Oh. Hey, chicken. You want a bath? Saved. Saved big spider. Saved a little beetle. <gasps> Is your pool all clean? Wow. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. That's my horse. Ace. Don't worry about him. Stompy chicken. can do it. Big step. I wouldn't go from over there. I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't go from that side. That's not very smart in terms of topography. Don't step on the spider. Don't step on the spider. Dude, the spider's carrying the egg sac. It's actually really cool. 
Stompy's gonna step on it. But look, she has it like in her mouth. You see that? How sick is that? Stompy, please watch your step. Maybe she'll live under the pool. That's nice and safe, actually. I can dig that. Stompy, that is quite literally the worst place to try to enter this pool. Walk around, brother. Come here. Look. Come over here. No, bird, over here. Ooh, shiny rings. Yeah, step in on that. Yeah, on that one. Yeah, step, oh, on there. Yeah, yeah, so smart. Oh, he's so smart. Yep, oh. Uh, ooh. You gotta commit. No, 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 chicken. Okay, just let him. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna make his own mistakes. You know, he's gotta learn. He'll, don't worry. That's a, that, that could work if he wants to do there. Yeah, that'll do. Oh. Yes. Stompy is an emu. Um, emus are ratites. Uh, it's a flightless. <laughs> it's a flightless bird related to ostriches, cassowaries, rias. Um, and this is a common emu. It's an Australian bird. Stompy, are you? Shower. Tiny head for his tiny IQ. Actual fun fact about emus, their brain is 0.06% of their body mass, um, which is crazy. They're really good at being emus, um, but they certainly don't have the problem solving skills as of like a parrot or something, you know? Stompy, not there, over here. Let's follow the water. Yes, yeah, over here, right here. See this rock? Look at this rock, step on it. Yeah, step on the rock. No, don't bite me, step on the rock. Yes, yep. Right there. Yes. Yeah, he's a genius. See, he's a genius. He stepped on the rock. Good job, chicken. Yay! He's in there. Nice hot day, good day for Stompy Bath. Hooray. Mods do not change the category, I'm on the front page. Tipsy no mad resub for 26 months. Tipsy! Happy birthday. Thank you for the 26 months. Happy birthday. Wow! He's swimming. Oh, please don't do that. So Stompy was born, uh, hatched out on Valentine's Day of 2021. Um, which makes him just over two years old. He was the first ambassador that we got here at Alveus. Um, his mom didn't sit on his egg at a zoo in California, so they incubated him at that zoo and then shipped him to me to start off my education program here. Um, we wanted to have an emu to be able to talk about the exotic meat trade uh, because emu meat was really popular in the 90s. It didn't affect wild populations, so uh, emus are very lucky, but um, I segue into talking about other animals that are used in the exotic meat trade or exploited in the exotic meat trade as well. So that's why we have Stompy. He likes the water. This is gonna help him a lot today. Oh, 
Why is she watering him so he grows? Duh. What a dumb question. Is he balding? No, that's just how he is. Um, we will probably only ever just have Stompy as the one emu. Uh, Stompy grew up only with people, never with other emus, um, and he's imprinted, so I'm not sure how he would react to another bird, but I imagine there would be a lot of fighting and it would be really gnarly. Do emus eat fish? No, I, I mean, maybe if I like handed it to him, he might consider eating fish. Uh, but, I mean, they, they will eat, like, dog food, cat food, um, and insects and stuff. Uh, but Stompy mostly just eats formulated emu grain, like dog kibble for emus. Where's his fountain? It's up in the studio, and it's charged, so we could put it in there. I just don't have it right now. We just, uh, someone bought Stompy a solar fountain off of the Amazon wish list, so it can float around in here and it can just... Be like constantly circulating water. He does look like a velociraptor without legs. Uh, velociraptors had feathers, um, so they probably looked pretty similar to Stompy. A Sarah's rolling. There's some softer sand right there. What do emus eat in the wild? Um, they'll eat insects, they'll eat grain, they'll eat small lizards if they can catch them. Um, grains, I mean. Uh, Australia went to war with emus in the 1930s um, because they were an agricultural pest. They would eat all of their crops. And so they tried to cull emu populations with machine guns, but emus can run like 30 miles an hour. So they had to give up. The Minister of Defense was like, they called the war off because they were just wasting so much ammo. Um, so Australia, yeah, in a sense, lost a war to emus. Huh? Oh, it's Winnie! <laughs> Hi, baby cow. You want, I don't think you would like it. Water. Okay. Stompy, don't get mad. Stompy and Winnie fight sometimes. Oh, Winnie's wearing a fly mask. It's to keep flies out of her eyes. It's mesh though, she can see through it. And it gets taken off at night. It's just on during the day because it's summer. Winnie uh, is an ambassador for uh, to talk about the beef industry and its impacts on the environment as well as animal welfare concerns in the beef industry. Uh, I got her off of a cattle operation in Oklahoma. So um, she, whoa, she would have been processed uh, at this point in her life. She's a beef cow. Red Angus beef cow. But now she lives here. The solar fountain is up in the studio. It is charged and ready to be put in here. We'll put it in here today. Processed, yes, yeah. Is Winnie stepping on the hose? Yeah. <laughs> Winnie, you're sabotaging the bird. That's messed up, Winnie gets her revenge. I wouldn't be sitting down there, spiders running around. Spiders don't want to bite you. Hi and hello, where is this place? We are in Austin, Texas. Hi, hello, welcome to the stream. And we're looking at Stompy taking a bath right now because it's hot outside. And Winnie's watching Stompy take a bath. But also, Stompy, please, also stepping on the hose really messing with Stompy's water pressure. Uh, me no space. <laughs> Stompy. Oh. 
Ew, dude. Ew. Ew. <laughs> she got slobber on the camera. Is that nice, Stompy? A nice bath. Yeah, he's he's much happier now, and is not heavy mouth breathing anymore, which is big. He's floating. It's a pool party. Stompy's living the life. I have not tried the solar power thing. It is in the studio. She will get it. He will get it today. Yes, we thought Stompy was female for the first year of his life. Turns out he's male. Adults make different vocalizations is the only way you can tell they look the same. Males make a really low growling sound and females make a deep echoey drumming sound. Stompy is male because he does male vocalizations. Winnie is stepping on the hose again. That's why the water's like this. That is the only way you can tell the difference, uh, except for a blood bed. test. You could do a blood test. Thank you for the bits. Uh, yeah, probably. I win. Okay, yeah, I'm not trying to get stepped on by a cow. It's fine. She's only like 700 pounds, so it wouldn't hurt that bad. Hey, Itchy. Do you want to show them your face? I'm going to introduce yourself. There she is. It's Winnie the cow. She's a little bit clingy. <laughs> um, she likes to be where the action is, you know? Sorry, Stompy. She does like humans. She was a bottle baby. That's why I got her from that beef operation is uh, she was a bottle baby. Her mom couldn't um, nurse her. And farmers don't like having bottle babies because they're a ton of work. Um, and so they offered to give her to me and we bottled her when she got here. Does she like water on her too? No, she doesn't. I, I guess I've never really tried, but I imagine she would not. I mean, she's not like pissed about it, but she did walk away. <laughs> Stompy likes water. Nice chicken. This pool actually looks so nice today. Don't, don't start drama. Don't start drama. She said, it's my pool. Oh, she's, good job, Winnie. You ruined the pool party. She just wants to drink <laughs> the water. Mmm, bath water. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the hose off and put Winnie's fly mask back on, I think. In a second, in a second. That's a purple martin nest. Do you hear all that noise? It's a speaker that we're playing to attract purple martins. It's, I think it's North America's largest songbird. Um, they need a uh, habitat like that to survive because invasive birds like European starlings and European house sparrows are taking over their nesting space. Here you go, Peach. Thank you. Keep the flies out of your eyes. Can't see the haters, baby. That's how we like it on this channel. This nice cow. This very nice. Cuddly cow. Okay, we're gonna go up and see the marmosets. All right, all right, chicken. 
chicken and cow. You just hit front page for me, imagine. Dude, we weren't on front page this whole time. It's just a casual 10K. That'd be crazy. Loved that show. Okay, guys, got a stompy bath today. I think he feels much better, and I feel better because he feels better. I forgot to leave this down there for the parrots. I'm gonna run down there and put it because I, I will forget to put it down there later. falling out I mean of the clip not like of the of my head it's so cinematic he's like crouching filming <laughs> balding okay ow 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 dude this chat phone's so hot don't like that water break Water break! Cock a doodle do to you too, chicken. We also have actual chickens, like normal chickens. <laughs> Cameraman is a W, honestly. You want his number? I'll give it to you right now. <laughs> okay, don't film her plate. Does he like dude? Pause champ. Yes. Where is my water? I don't remember where. Did I leave it in here? Hello. Hello. Stompy is very pleased about the pool. Is it dirty again? No. Do you feel fine about me giving the foxes these supervised? As long as they're in there, yeah. Okay. I'm sure they will destroy them. Yeah, they're just gonna pee on them. But it's it's a thought, you guys. This is from the wish list as well. I did um bring that catnip. Catnip. They're cooling mats, you guys. And they're for dogs. But I think, I mean, the dream is that the foxes like them. And then, like, and lay on them. But the reality is the foxes are probably just going to destroy them. But what if, you know? What if they like them? Yeah. Give them like a home. Yeah. We're gonna have to see you guys. Um, and we're gonna have to stay in there. And there's a chance that we're just gonna have to sit in there for a while um, before they like have feelings about it. You know what? I'm gonna take. take this bit out. I think it's unnecessary. It's a little excessive. It's like insulation to keep it there for longer, but we don't need it going for hours today, so. Thank you. Thank you for the $5 donation. 
these up there. Oh, I have to put this on my wrist again. No, the alert's from my phone. I'm also bringing up the crow enrichment. You have not missed the monkeys. We have not gotten there yet. Oh, this feels so nice. You need water? Whoa! Carnivore, thank you for the five. Thank you so much. Is this gonna be, is there gonna be monkey business on today's stream? Yeah, a whole lot of monkey business. Hello. Flip is taking a water break. I'm taking a water break. And then we're going up to the crows and foxes. And then we're doing the marmosets. Kaiser! Kaiser! Thank you for the 10. Gate zero resubbed for three months. Thank you for the three months. Thank you for the 10. <sighs> Getting to the crows and foxes sounds like a weird euphemism. No, it doesn't. I don't think it does at all, actually. Feels really good in here. Yeah, Flip was wearing a jacket that whole time. Mm -hmm. Flip's always wearing a jacket. You bought me a gift? Mm -hmm. What was it? Mighty Blue Whale sub for the first time. Mighty Blue Whale, thank you for the sub. This from the aquarium, the whale book. Oh, <gasps> whales! The whale video yesterday. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, see that <laughs> on Connor's Discord? <laughs> There's. Oh, you can barely see it. Um, some dead hero, thank you for the five. Some dead hero just gifted five tier one sub. Thank you. Um, whoa, trippy. Uh, I, we posted a whale video yesterday. Flip and I went to Massachusetts to film um, on a boat with whale and dolphin conservation for North Atlantic right whales. Um, and we made a whole video on it. We're both very proud of it. And we posted it yesterday for World Oceans Day. If you could go check it out, that would be awesome. Um, there's a bunch of cool footage of whales um, that we saw on the water. I watched your whale video. It was so good. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. But yeah, go check it out. It was, it was a good time. Or if you don't want to watch it, if you just go like it, that would be sick also. Um, needs a lot of attention. The, the conservation of North Atlantic right whales is really important. There's only 340 individuals left in the wild. Um, Tonopur, thank you for the five months. Tourmaline, thank you for the... Thank you for the, the sub. Knight underscore just gifted 10 tier one. Knight? Knight? Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. What the heck? Thank you so much. People wow. W underscore Willow subbed for the first time. All right, are you ready? Yep. Willow, thank you. All right, let's go see the foxes. People wow. A year gifted a tier one sub to Elberoth. This is their first gift sub in the channel. People wow. Thank you for gifting. Anonymous, Anonymous thank you for the five. five. Tier one subs. What the heck? People wow. <laughs> just gifted 50 tier one subs. 50? Wow. Bird admirer sub for the first. Skizzers! Thank you for the 50 gifted subs. What the heck? Bird, thank you for the sub. Monkey, where, when the monkeys, uh, we're going to see foxes first, which are also very cool. Let's go see the foxes, shall we? Um, we're bringing the foxes their enrichment. Fox enrichment for today is these cooling pads. Um, they were gifts from the Amazon wish list. If you guys want to check that out, we do a PO box stream once a month. So we just opened these up. Um, and they have ice packs in them. Just gifted five tier one subs. Thank you for the five. Sawara. Thank you for the sub. Oh my gosh. What the heck? 
so many sub. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see if the foxes like these. Also next week, next Friday, for this keep fing stream, we're probably gonna give the foxes a snow day. So we're gonna go um, get ice and like a pool and we got a, a snow cone maker and we're gonna make a bunch of snow and How's give that? the foxes a kitty pool full of snow because it's hot and foxes love snow. Thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Not snow cones, just like shaved ice. Thank you for the two months. P Zerom's beauty sub for the first time. Nice, Mac. Thank you for the sub. Okay, hold on. We're gonna leave these here. I'm just gonna leave these in here. And then go to the foxes. Hi, buddy. This is the crow enclosure. We have two American crows in there. Abbott and coconut. They get their nourishment after the foxes. Because this is frozen, so I don't wanna like. You know, it's frozen. <laughs> do, 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 do. Snow in Texas in June, I know. I know, but it's fine, it'll be fun. It'll be fun for them, they'll like it. Fox boys, I have a surprise for you. Don't be alarmed when the foxes pee and poop on these mats. That's what foxes do. This is the fox enclosure. We have two foxes. Their names are Finn and Reed. Finn was a confiscation from the illegal pet trade in California. Someone tried to have him as a pet, which is no bueno, um, both for the welfare of the fox and for the people trying to keep a fox in their home. Um, and then Reed was orphaned as a baby in the wild and was raised by people. But they're both European red foxes. You will notice before a bunch of you start asking that one of them is not red, he's gray, um, and it's because they are bred to be a bunch of different colors for the pet trade because people think they look cool. So that's why Finn is gray and Reed is red. Hi, bud. This is Finn. I have something for you, but I want to put it on your tree house. Hey. I don't have any food. See, what is that? Scary. Can I put it on your tree house? Oh, I don't have anything. Sorry. He's very cute. Yeah. So the foxes are here um, so we can teach people both about the pet trade, why you shouldn't have foxes as pets, why it's bad for foxes um, and bad for fox populations, and then also to tell people, teach people about uh, the fur trade, because foxes um, are used in the fur trade as well. Cephalime, thank you. Isn't it nice? Um, we're going to have to find a place to like sit and yeah thank you cephalime subs in the channel finn what do you think is it nice It definitely feels cold to the touch, so he's probably like, what's going on? <laughs> Please don't chew it. So far, no peeing. that's huge. They look so small without their fur. Yeah. Reed is over here, well. Yeah, Reed had to get his undercoat shedded out. Um, our vet helped us shed out his undercoat in hopes that he can grow back a better coat. He's always had problems with skin and fur um, since before we got him. You guys have questions about the foxes? I'm happy to answer them while we watch them explore these mats. Thank you for the sub. 
You can go wherever you want, Flip. I'm gonna hide over here. How fast are they? You know, I don't know what their top speed is. Um, I don't think it's like crazy. Um, but you could not catch one if you were trying to chase them. How about that? Um, Why are they not, why, okay, so a lot of like, why is it bad to have them as pets? So, number one, they're wild animals. Um, they don't like being indoors, like they really like having this outdoor space. These foxes do have an indoor space with AC, um, but they like never go in that room. They just like being outside, they need a ton of space. Um, and they mark everything, um, so they pee and poop on everything. It's just like, it's, it's a way, it's a mode of communication for foxes, and so you don't want them in their house, for, in your house for that reason. Uh, and the pet trade overall of exotic animals and wild animals wow. is really dangerous uh, because we don't really know months. how it affects Foxes wild populations right now. Animals. Thanks. Um, we don't know how it affects wild populations. And then also, I think a lot of people just think that it'd be cool to have a fox because they like foxes. Um, and then they get them as pets and realize that they don't work in houses like dogs do. Dogs have been domesticated over how many years, you know, to, to work with our lifestyles and foxes are not that way. Um, so a lot of times people get them as pets and then it doesn't work out and then the foxes are left in a situation where they're non-releasable, don't know how to take care of themselves in the wild, um, and have to be in facilities like this. So for these guys, they're non-releasable because, um, Reed was born in the wild, Reed the one that's standing up, was born in the wild but was orphaned, raised by people, doesn't know how to take care of himself. Um, Finn was born and raised in captivity, the one lying down, um, also doesn't know how to take care of himself. So for them, because we can't release them into the wild, their options are either euthanasia or to live at this facility and we can use them to educate people. Um, they're educational ambassadors, so, so that's why they're here. The blue mats, we just gave them these for the first time today, they are cooling mats. There's ice packs in there. So we're seeing what they think about those. They do not usually live in packs. We are hoping that, that Reed's coat grows out. Yeah. He's lying down, but not on the mat, which is kind of sad. I wish they had a bigger space. So um, you're seeing less than half of the enclosure right now just because of where the cameraman's like halfway through this enclosure. Um, it's 40 feet by 26 feet, which is quite a bit of space. Um, plus they have their inside space that is 10 by 10. Um, they came from a five by 10, which was way too small for them. Five feet by 10 feet, which is one of me by two of me. Um, and so this is the biggest enclosure that we could afford to build them. But also we hope that eventually we can take them um, to where they're crate trained and comfortable enough to be taken to our training center, which is a 50 by 30 foot yard. Um, so we would love to be able to take them out too. But uh, this, this enclosure is literally bigger than my house. <laughs> it's actually pretty big. It's pretty big. also non-releasable because they're European red foxes, technically um, not native, and so it's illegal to release them. Would it be possible to train them to take them on hikes? It is a possibility. Harness training is a possibility, um, but it it would take a long time. We, we use a lot of positive reinforcement here. Um, we try to make as much of the stuff that we do here voluntary. Um, and so to get the foxes willing and accepting of a harness and uh, walking on it is, is quite a task, but we have talked about it. Yeah. People pug, wow. Special agents pinche area drift subbed for five months. Maya Hichia. Thank you. Um, they're still not comfortable with people. Why is that? Uh, so at the end of the day, Finn, who you're looking at right now, was born in captivity, raised by people, but he is still a fox. They, he will just never act like a dog does. They're naturally just more skittish and a lot more cautious of people. Um, and someone said, can they be released in their native habitat? They cannot, um, because again, Finn was born and raised in captivity and does not know how to take care of himself in the wild. Uh, he doesn't know what to be afraid of, who to mate with. 
um, where to hide, what to eat, how to find water, stuff like that, all very important things that um, adult wild foxes would teach their young. So he's, he's non-releasable. I'm gonna guess one of these guys has bit you. Not uh, in this, not in the way you think. Uh, Reed has nipped my finger when taking food from me, taking food from my hand, but it wasn't like an aggressive, like I'm gonna bite you thing. It was just, he did catch my finger. Reed doesn't like new things in his enclosure, the one that's going back and forth, the red fox, um, and he doesn't like the camera, so that's why he's pacing right now. Um, he's also had issues with pacing before, um, and so we got him oh, neutered because wow. we thought it might Star be a hormonal thing, for seven months. Um, and it may be related to hormones, and I think it's a little bit better, uh, but... They get enrichment every day, and, and we try to mitigate it as much as possible. People pop, wow! Jam, jam, jam. Resubbed for two months. Unrelated, but since watching yours and Elvia's streams, I am no longer afraid of bugs and enjoy researching about them and their importance. Very cool, thank you. Um, if small mice got into the enclosure, would they try to hunt them? Yes, absolutely. Um, they kill lizards and bugs in here sometimes. Do we worry about them digging out? No, so um, this whole enclosure is lined, uh, or there's wire buried around the whole thing. Um, and also where we are in Texas, you can't go more than a foot into the ground without hitting straight limestone, um, which is very handy for digging animals in enclosures and very not handy for everything else, uh, like every other construction ever. But uh, no, we're good. Uh, they do do some digging on the inside of their enclosure, but not, not outside. We never have coyotes on here. Our whole property is fenced. Handy to keep something that wants to be free trapped. So um, I said it just like a couple minutes ago, but I'll say it again. So the two foxes that we have here are non-releasable. Uh, the one you're looking at was born in captivity, raised in captivity, uh, and doesn't have the survival skills that he needs to be released. If we released him into the wild, it would quite literally be sending him off to a really brutal death. Uh, he doesn't know how to find food in the wild. He doesn't know how to find water. He doesn't know what to be afraid of, and he would die. And so for these non-releasable animals, their options, and this is not... Uh, a choice that we made for him uh, to be non-releasable. He was a confiscation from the illegal pet trade in California. Um, and so he came from that industry. And so for him, his only options are to uh, be euthanized or to remain in captivity for the rest of his life uh, as an educational ambassador. And so for each of our ambassadors that we have here, um, we're very, very careful about their quality of life, and if they're not happy in captivity um, and it's not a good fit for them, then euthanasia is a humane option that we always um, will consider for, for any of the animals here. Thank you for the bits. Um, so, yeah. Um, so that's the story with these two. Uh, the other thing about this, this sanctuary is that it's really cool and that all of the education that we do is virtual. And so all our animals here have to get used to is a couple people, a couple keepers, this cameraman that's next to Finn right now. Um, and that's it. We don't have any public come through this facility. There are no kids running around these enclosures yelling. Um, they really just get to live here and chill and teach people online.
How many foxes could you have in this enclosure? Uh, two. We're, we're maxing out at two. We originally were just going to get Finn, and then Reed kind of came into the picture last minute, and so now we have now we have the two of them. Do they like being pet or touched at all? Um, Finn has accepted some some petting. Reed, I think a little bit too, just from Kayla. I have never touched Reed. Um, I have pet Finn a little bit. What's the difference between euthanasia and release? Uh, release, one would be illegal because they're not native, um, and euthanasia is uh, much more humane because we would be putting them down as opposed to like letting them go and letting them get tore up by something or get caught in a fence or you know however many ways they they could die in the wild. Lamegan donated five dollars. Is this the foxes who do that scary lady scream? Uh, they they can't. They have a wide range of vocalizations. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the difference in bite force between these guys and, and domestic dogs. Um, I, I truly, I don't even know if it's, if it's stronger. I, well, I would, would guess that it would be, but I'm not sure. I think it depends on the breed of dog. Finn's face is a lot, okay, so a couple of people have asked about his muzzle. Finn's face is a lot different for the same reason that Finn's fur is a lot different. Um, he was bred to look a certain way for the pet trade uh, because the demand is higher for, ironically enough, animals that look more like dogs. <laughs> oh my God. Um, you know, people like the short snouts. Um, they, they like the, the silver coat, and, and so that's why Finn was bred to look like that. Just get a dog, right, right. No, I don't think we'll have apes here. Uh, the liability's too much, and we are only on 15 acres, and, you know, I, they need a ton of space. They must smell pretty bad. They smell very bad. Yeah. Do they get meat to eat? Good question. Their diets uh, are pretty complex. So they get, um, every day they do get a formulated, like a special formulated fox kibble, like a dog kibble. Um, so it has all the minerals and vitamins that they need, but they also get produce. Um, in here they get scrambled egg. They get whole prey as well. So rats, baby rats, chicks, um, quail, eggs, like raw eggs, stuff like that. Um, and then they also get enrichment every other day. Enrichment being foraging feeders, puzzle feeders, stuff like that, um, toys essentially. But they eat a variety of things. You did not miss the monkey move in yet. Their favorite food is scrambled egg, both of them. Ah, uh, to chicken, boiled chicken. They really like chicken. Yeah, um, someone said give them a pool. They they have a room that has AC, uh, so it's a it's a good like. I don't know, it feels like inside when you go in there. I don't know what the temperature is. They just choose to not go in there. They like it outside. We have never had a problem with them being aggressive.
We don't plan on expanding this enclosure. We do plan on expanding the places that they can go. So um, we would like to take them to the training center. We would love to be able to take them on enrichment walks eventually. Finalia gifted a tier one sub to Soridite again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Uh, Finn and Reed are both neutered. But no, it wouldn't be a problem. Wow. Oi, skip, oi, ski, og, sub for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Um, we don't have any new ambassadors coming soon that I can leak. We're, we're in talks about, about some, but nothing, like, confirmed at the moment. Cool. Well, they're not very interested in the mats. <laughs> um, uh, they're more related to dogs than cats. Um, but people do think that they're cat-like. They do eat vegetables, yeah, they eat zucchini, they eat, uh... Wow. They eat uh, sweet potato. For the first time. Um, so we're not able to free these foxes or, or let them be free. Um, it would be a death sentence for them. They don't know how to take care of themselves in the wild. They're both non-releasable animals. Um, so their options are either euthanasia or remain in captivity uh, like they are now. And we give them the best lives possible. And um, they are ambassadors here to teach people about the fur trade with foxes and the pet trade. Um, Finn is from the illegal pet trade, um, and so their ambassadors teach people about that, so it happens to less foxes. But like all of you guys that are coming here asking similar questions or saying similar things, um, we want nothing more for these animals to, to be in the wild and exist in the wild as they're, as they're meant to, right? I, we're all conservationists here. Um, and we actually posed the question the other day of like, if if everything was perfect for some reason, they had beautiful habitat to go back to, they were releasable animals all of a sudden, like they had the skills to take care of themselves in the wild, which of the animals at your facility would you release? And all of us said all of them, like with no question. I, I would love for nothing more than these foxes to be in the wild. It actually makes me very, very sad um, when I see foxes um, in the wild, not because I don't want them there, but because it makes me, they look just like Reed, you know? Um, and Reed was in the wild at one point, uh, and I wish that he could be. I really do. Boulder Sluve resubbed for 25 months, Maya Hizoro. Thank you for the 25 months. But yeah, it's not an option for these guys, so. The color morphs do exist in the wild, but very rarely. Um, you will not see them. If you see a gray fox in the wild, it's probably a smaller one, and it's literally called a gray fox. We're going to take these pads out because we can't leave them unsupervised. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Finn almost caught a butterfly. That was close, buddy. Ugh. All right, another day. <laughs> At least they can be healthy. The other thing is that the foxes, Reed would not do well at a public facility or a normal zoo where there are people coming through. He'd be very stressed and very scared all the time. But Reed gets to teach thousands of people um, because we have live camps um, in their enclosure. So he doesn't even know that he's teaching people, um, but they are. It's a pretty special place for them to be. If you want to see some of those live cams, Alvea Sanctuary, which is this organization, uh, has a 24-7 live cam channel, and you can watch what they do all day on those live cams. Doubts. Go drop a follow over there, please. 
It sucks. I bet he would like it. Like, I bet Reed would like this if I left it in there. But I also don't trust him with it, so. Hello. That's Kylie. That's Beetle. and coconut. There's drama. She doesn't like the pads. Goats don't like these. Kylie, help. Thank you. Ow, Beetle. I love Crow's pop chat. Give the crows their nourishment and run away from the goats. Thank you for opening it. Sorry, Abbott. Backpack hates it in that vest here. Hi, Abbott. So, we have two American crows. This is Abbott. He's one of them. Um, our American crows are non-releasable because they were blown out of their nests as babies um, and raised by people. They imprinted on people, um, which means that they identify with people as a species. He never learned from an adult crow um, how to be a crow. Just because they're raised by people doesn't mean that they need to be imprinted. Um, Abbott and Coconut um, were... Imprinted by the people that were trying to rehabilitate them and raise them to be releasable, but they were unsuccessful. Um, and so they tried to release Abbott um, at a park, and a couple days later, he ended up like two miles away, landing on people in the park, begging them for food because he hadn't eaten in the time that they tried to release him. Um, and so he was deemed non releasable by a vet and now is in captivity. Um, same thing with coconut. So that's their enrichment. Um, it's cups that are strung together, uh, and there's pistachio bits and dried mealworms in the cups. They're very, very cautious about new things. They're very sus of new things. Small pericula sub for two months. Small bericula, thank you. What do you mean by imprinting? So uh, imprinting is the reason that ducklings follow adult ducks. It's also the reason that ducklings will follow you if you buy ducklings. You've seen people, or ducklings like follow people. Um, it is a physical change that happens in the bird's brain um, as a baby where they identify with a species. So that's how they learn where to migrate to, who to be afraid of, what to eat, where to find water, who to mate with, how to behave socially, um, all of that. Um, and it's a specific thing for birds. Mammals can habituate to people. Um, but birds will imprint on people. And so it's, it makes it very, very difficult for them to be a candidate for release if they're imprinted. Wild seagulls begging for food is not um, imprinting. It's similar in that they, they want food from people and they may rely on people for food, uh, but that is, that is a learned behavior. Um, that's habituation. Imprinting is something that happens with baby birds. I'm not Mars, thank you for the sub. What do you think, bud? Are the cups scary? Uh, 
Are crows, crows closely related to ravens? Yes. Um, crows and ravens are both corvids. There are a couple uh, differences to be able to tell crows and ravens apart. One, ravens are much larger, um, much larger than crows. If you saw the two next to each other right now, you would be able to tell uh, which one was a crow and which was a raven. Ravens also have curved top beaks. You can see Abbott's, the top of his beak is pretty straight. Um, a raven is going to have a curved top beak. And then uh, crows have a straight across tail in the back, so it kind of looks like a a triangle when they're flying. If you were to look up at a bird silhouette, a raven has a pointed tail. Um, so you'd be able to see that if you look up at them too. Also, ravens have a bit of a beard um, underneath their, their, their bottom beak. <laughs> um, and crows do not, but they're both corvids. April, thank you for the sub. Both are smart. Help the cups are attacking. Yeah, he's, he's, very, he's very ready for the cup to come to life and get him. Are crow brains bigger than Stompy? Proportionally by quite a bit, yes. Um, so I think when you look at, it's very, very hard to measure intelligence, so take this with a grain of salt, but when you look at brain mass compared to body mass, um, and put them on a graph. Stompy is more in line with the brain mass to body mass ratio of a fish, whereas corvids, crows, ravens, their brain to body mass ratio is uh, in line with primates. Thanks, Dyer Gorgon. I appreciate that. Are most of the animals healthy when you get them, or do you have to treat them due to lack of proper care? Good segue. Let's go see where the marmosets are at. Let Abbott sort out this enrichment. You lose your mind if you hang out in the crow enclosure for too long, because Abbott won't, won't stop screaming. Um, same with coconut. Coconut's a little scared of people, so... We can't be in here for him to come down. Welsh underscore nerd gifted a tier one sub to in loop's taste. Welsh! They have given 654. Thank you for gifting. Butterfly. Pretty. Cool. Beetles eating rope. It's very cool. Kylie's in the truck bed. Connor would love that. What are you doing? Guys and problems? Which of you blog donated? Five dollars. Maya, please release those thought they were raised by humans. They have inherent survival instincts. They won't all survive, but at least they will have a chance to create babies. Keeping them in a cage is literally creating a harmful cycle, please. So, with Abbott... Thank you for the sub. Uh, with Abbott, like I said, they did try to release him, which um, I think was a mistake in the first place. But they wanted to do that because they wanted that really bad for him. They wanted him to be a part of the wild population. Uh, they wanted him to have the freedom to be a wild bird because um, that's ideal and he was born in the wild. Uh, but Abbott was unable to find food for himself for several days and ended up landing on people, strangers, uh, in a park where there were a bunch of kids screaming at them, begging for food. Um, and if they didn't call a wildlife rehabilitation center and they didn't identify that bird as the one that they tried to release, Abbott would have starved to death. Um, and so releasing them would be an act of cruelty. Uh, so for them, like all the other animals here, it is either euthanasia or they remain in captivity and teach people about crows um, and teach people about foxes and teach them about the industries that exploit them. Um, and so that's the choice that we've made for these animals. Hello, how are we looking? All right, we're ready to go. Right, of course. They didn't care about the mats. It seems like a thing where 
Like, I bet if I left it in there, not even five minutes later, Reed would lay on it. But I can't, so <laughs> I don't know. Literally, we should get like photographer hides. They would hate that. <laughs> They'd be so scared. Guys, it is about that time. Kayla, are you, are we ready? Is it like all set up up there? Do we need to? Okay. Um, we are not looking for big cats at the moment. It's a ton of liability and they need a ton of space. Um, so it doesn't really make sense for our facility. Yet. At the moment, it's nice and safe. All right, guys, let's go take a look at the enclosure and then come down here and then Move the monkeys. Yeah. I think it is. These are nice. What's the temperature there? I don't know. It's hot today, though. It is hot today. Command for the wish list. Command WL. This is it, right? Okay. All right, guys. Let's go make sure everything is super ready. And then we come back and then we will crate the monkeys and then they can move into their new enclosure. I know there are a bunch of new people here. Let's talk about the monkeys. We have two marmosets, one common marmoset, one black tufted marmoset. You can find them on my Twitter. Um, heads up, you don't want to get on this side of Kylie, get on, don't let her rip that cable. Um, Kylie, hello? Oh, she's going for beetle. Shit. The goats are on one today, we're going to have to put them up before we move the monkeys. Um, so we have two monkeys, they were both rescued uh, from a neglect case in Austin. So somebody bought them as exotic pets uh, and then did not know how to take care of them properly. So we pretty much only fed them fruit uh, and some mealworms. Um, and so that she will rip that in half. Uh, and so they came with to us with a bunch of nutritional deficiencies. They were both malnourished, uh, both metabolic bone disease. Um, one of them had severe dental disease, has had more than half of his teeth removed. Um, and so they were in pretty bad shape when we got them. Uh, we've had them for six months now, so they were on meds when we first got them. Uh, lots of calcium um, to help with their metabolic bone disease. Got those teeth removed. Um, they've gained a lot of weight. One of them had not, they need to be put up before we bring the monkeys out. They're being a lot today. Um, one of them uh, had very little mobility in his back legs. Are you sure? Oh, sorry. That sucks. No, it was it was Kylie. No, oh, it was up here. Oh. Or did you see Kylie? Do Kylie it? was up here too, or she was in the truck bed. Go, 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 go. I will fight you. Um. So one of them had very little mobility in his back legs. This is an interesting choice. Um, and now has a ton of mobility in his back legs. They have only ever lived in a cage inside uh, because they were bought as exotic pets. This is a huge problem, right? Um, because you should not have monkeys as pets um, because 
monkeys deserve to have outdoor enclosures with a lot of space to move around. Um, and they're not pets, they're wild animals. Um, these are Brazilian monkeys. So, I'm trying to find, oh, it's right here. Uh, these are Brazilian monkeys, um, so they're not meant to be in Texas as pets. Um, these ones are non-releasable because they were born and raised in captivity. Uh, if we were to, even if we were to take them to Brazil to release them, it would be the same story as something like Abbott. Uh, they were raised by people as babies um, and don't have the skills to survive in the wild. But we were able to rehabilitate them here, and they will be moving out into this enclosure today. This is their new enclosure. Um, again, they've only ever lived in a little cage. They've never lived outside. Um, and so it's going to be a really big change for them. We don't know exactly. Thank you. We don't know exactly how they're going to react to this space. Um, having this much space, it being so open, um, because they haven't been outside before. Uh, so keep in mind there's a chance that they're stressed and that they don't like it right away and we have to gradually introduce them to this enclosure um, because they've only ever lived inside. Um, so we'll see how it goes, but this is the plan um, is to uh, introduce them. We do have cams in this enclosure, uh, one right there, so they will have live cams so you guys can watch them um, all day and watch, keep an eye on their transition and see how they're doing and see what they play with and all that. Um, but yeah, yeah, so that is who the monkeys are. And then we have them as ambassadors here, one for, for sanctuary because they needed uh, to go to a new home and they needed rehabilitation and also uh, to be ambassadors so that we can talk about the exotic pet trade, the online pet trade, uh, and how animals like monkeys are so often exploited in it. A lot of people think that they want monkeys as pets because they're like, I don't know, they saw friends or whatever. <laughs> or they're just like, ooh, cool, like finger monkey pet, so cool. Um, when in... Sure. Huh? you want to take the UTV down with you or do you want to walk them up? Uh, I'd rather walk them up. Um, or we saw them on TikTok, right? All these things. But they're not meant to be in a cage. They're wild animals. Um, so it's cruel to them, it's terrible for their welfare, and it's terrible for people because monkeys are seed dispersers. That's their ecological niche in the wild. So their job in the forest, in the wild, is to eat fruits and swing around from trees and poop everywhere to help with forest regrowth. Uh, that's just what they're made to do. And so they will do that in your house. They will swing from your rafters and they will shit everywhere. Um, and so it's not ideal for people. And they can bite really hard. Monkeys bite. Dude, it's no joke. Um, and so a lot of people get them thinking they're cute. They see all these cute videos. They see them dressed up. They see them in diapers, whatever. Think that they'll be manageable. Get them as pets. Don't take care of them. Um, or they realize that they're dangerous or really not a good fit for being inside a house because they're not meant to be. And then they end up in situations like this. So another set of animals that of course I wish could be in the wild where they're supposed to be. Uh, but for these individuals, it is not an option. It's either euthanasia or be an ambassador. And so they're ambassadors. That's fine. Hello. I was asking to have the goats. Oh yeah. Monsters. Yeah. We're going to put the goats up. The goats are being bad. Monkey, you're ready. They're ready. It's time. It's the big day. Where are the goats? Pico! Sorry, way too dangs. Warning. Sorry. That's how I call my goat. That's how I call Beetle. She's the only one that has recall. Cover the mic. Beetle! Where are they? Like your siren impression? 
Yeah. <laughs> that made it worse, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I don't know why I would. Where the freaking go? Oh my god. I tripped. Do you hear goats? Me neither. Thank you for the sub. Meek for sub for four months. Meek, thank you. Guys, I have to call for the goats again. Turn your speakers down. Go. Oh shit! Hey, come here. Look out, cameraman. Dots. <laughs> Move. There's drama. There's a lot going on. We're getting swarmed. Oatmeal, oatmeal. Hey, come here. <laughs> the camera needs a raise, huh? That's fucked up. Hey, it's happening. Come here. Marmosets. Sorry about the assault. Green smells really good. Oh, it tastes good too. Does it? Yeah, it's just like molasses. Jail. They're in jail. Monkey time. Are we ready? We're ready. Necklace on my, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. Here's monkey number one. There's Appa. This is the one that had um, not a lot of mobility in his back legs when we first got him. Um, the common marmoset. Now his mobility is pretty excellent. Appa and Momo are both Brazilian monkeys. Are you ready? I'm sorry, I forgot, it was my bad. 
<laughs> so Kayla's been working, Kayla and Ella have been working on voluntary crating with them so that they like the crate. Mama, are you ready? And here's Momo. Hi. Momo is a black tufted marmoset. They're getting weighed right now. That's what this perch is. How much do they weigh? 362 grams and 344 grams, so they're less than a pound. This is as big as they get. Momo is a black tufted marmoset. He's got black tufts on those ears. Appa has white tufts. It is an avatar reference, yes. Appa um, had a different name. Momo's name was Momo, so we changed Appa's name so that their names match. That was so easy. <laughs> Okay. Amazing, easy, voluntary crating, big time, voluntary weighing, amazing. They have come such a long way. Their weights will be especially important over the next couple days if we move them. Yeah. Uh, this will be an easy way for us to measure, potentially, if, if they drop really quickly, they could be stressed. She said they're, I don't, could you guys hear that? She One said they're. Big changes, weight fluctuation is expected, so we may have to alter their food over the next couple days. We need to make sure they don't drop weight. Their weight is going to be especially important over the next couple days. I don't trust cows. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right, you're in. You're in. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Are you ready? I think I'm going to put a towel on. No, I don't think that. If you want to grab Appa, I will. Appa? Want banana? That's so nice. Banana! Momo? Did you want a car or you want to walk them? No, I'm just going to walk okay. them. Okay. I'm just going to, I might offer them banana pieces every so often. They love um, banana. Just to reinforce that, you know, this is okay. I also don't trust the top of this at all, so. Yeah, it's scary. A banana. Do you want a bite? Banana. <laughs> we love crates. It's so fun. Just a normal day. Just a normal day. Going for a walk. It's time. Either does he. Appa's just like... Checking out the sights. What do you think, bud? You ready? <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Um, I was going to start with them inside. Okay. Where are we going? He's fine. He's on veins. Not too hot, guys. Hi, Appa. Are you so ready? We have monkeys. Huh? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> making sure you know. We have monkeys. I forgot the rest of the food. That's okay. Bits are those those doors are closed? They like their new home. Thank you for the bits. Wow. Q have gifted a tier one sub to Chronic Allison. They have given fourteen gift subs in the Alright, flip. F in here. We have every time. We have every time? Yeah, I've seen. We weren't earlier today. So good in here. Okay. Are you ready, Momo? Should I open it on the same platform? Hold <laughs> well, on. Choose one back. One mount here. Okay. <laughs> Oh. 
hold it. Guys, Flip is outside, he's shooting inside. We wanted to put them inside. Um, it just seems like less of a jarring, shocking transition. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look at you go. Wow. Yeah, we gave them way too many ropes. <laughs> they do not need as many ropes as I thought. Wow, Whoa. buddy. That's so good. Appa's using the window. Appa loves windows, but you know what he's probably going to love more than windows? Outside. Being outside. How can we tell them apart? Um, Momo has black tufts on his ears, and Appa has white tufts. Momo is a black tufted marmoset. Appa is a common marmoset. Oh, you see What's out there? Wow. Wow. Yeah, we're in that one. Come on. <laughs> oh. Itch. <gasps> Appa. He's doing it. Good job. Good job. Wow. Can they boil your sub for the first time? Here comes Mama. Oh my gosh. Wow. Momo. <laughs> wow. My Max is we result for 33 months. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at him go. What do you guys think? Happy Tun Crimp donated $50. Hi, am I and Elvius All Stars. Happy Payday Friday. Thank you for the I 50. Like oh, oh man, Smile. ropes. <laughs> Thank you for the $50. So brave. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. He's big for Appa. I know. I, she's like looking at that plot. <gasps> oh. oh boy, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, he's going for the feast. Why we put two layers up? What do you think, Appa? You doing okay? Wow. Oh, he's going. Oh. They're not coming down. <laughs> yep, he's going for the feast. He's looking for the spiders. Wow. Buffet. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, we warned you guys. We warned the harvestmen to leave. What you doing, Appa? Oh no! Oh, oh. he's <laughs> getting the spider. He's catching it. Run, harvestmen! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he's dropping them. Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh god, oh. Appa! <laughs> yeah, they're gonna quickly get the harvestman out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need 
<laughs> they will clear out. Substrate. Oh. Oh no, he got one. He caught it. He's Zero eating it. $10. He's Look eating it. Axiel, so <laughs> thank you. Oh god. Appa. Malo. What are you doing up there, friend? Nature. Score a sub for eight months. The boy is eating good tonight, people fat. Thank you for the eight months. Wow. Avon's extra subbed for three months. Yay. Thank you for the three months. Zeno frame underscore is subbed for two months. Okay. People pog wow. Spimmy subbed for the first time. Oh god. He's got so Oh many. no. There are so many. Oh god. Oh. Uh, it doesn't seem like it would taste. I'd prefer you not to eat a bunch of those, please. Buffet. Harvest Moon Buffet. I'm gonna start knocking down some of the Harvest Moon so they don't eat a bunch. Don't scare them, though. People no, wow. Let them go. Blue sky sucked as, as for the first time. As soon as they scatter them, and then hopefully the Harvest Moon will learn to not come back. Thank you, the sub. And your poop's gonna disappear into the sun. People pop, wow! Yes, it is. Doomageddon 7 results. <gasps> Off is on a platform. Yummy munchie. Yay, platform! Fillerooper is up for 10 months. What do you think? Hello, monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Thank you for the 10 wow. months. Chrysley is up for the first time. <laughs> Chrysley, thank you. What do you guys think of bananas? You guys, this might friends. be the first time they've ever been outside. I think it is the first time they've ever been outside. Hey. There's no shot at me keeping them off the cams. <laughs> Coming yeah, down? So if, if they spend a lot of time on the wire high, it's like... People pop, wow! Larry down. underscore the underscore loaner sub for the first well, time. The cams just aren't going to be able to see, really. Unless I go, like, the very tip top. Even then, I'm not going to get every hand in. Let's see where they spend most of their time. Are they showing any signs of stress? Uh, less than I thought. Uh, I think they're just showing <laughs> natural... They seem fine. For monkeys. <gasps> wow. <laughs> he dropped a harvest in there too. How you doing, Appa? He's just I'm catching. Into the <laughs> Is it a snack? No oh, the venom that the harvest men um, are doesn't affect humans or animals. It's for venom for like insects. Easy. That makes me feel a lot better. All right, eat away. Have fun. Someone asked about these spiders biting. Um, they can't bite. Their, their mouth parts aren't big enough to break skin. Um, so they're not going to bite the monkeys. They're, they're completely harmless. The monkeys are just going to scare them and eat them. Yeah, so it's fine for the monkeys to eat them. Could they survive off of only harvestmen and water? Mm. Like, not to the fullest of their lifespan. Not really a it's not a complete diet. <laughs> um, these monkeys get three different types of uh, formulated marmoset food, like special marmoset food. Um, 
they get biscuits, they get a gel, and they get a canned food. Oh my god, I hate that. They get canned food, they get biscuits, and they get um, a gel. And then they also eat produce, and they eat some mealworms sometimes too. Kayla, do you remember their lifespan? I've looked it up so many times. I, I want to say they have a shorter lifespan than like what you would expect. But I would imagine also that has to do with them being as tiny as they are. Uh, Says so like 15 years maybe. I'm getting, why are harvestmen falling on me, I wonder. It says as pets, which I'm going to interpret as in captivity, up to 18. Hmm. So their wild expectancy is probably a good bit shorter than that. If I had to guess. What happens if they jump down? We chose the substrate, um, pine mulch, because... Above your head. Hello. Howie, um, because it's soft too if they fall. Banana. That's nice. Would you like a piece, Momo? Oh God. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, Appa would also like all of the banana. We know. Okay. They cannot swing using their tail. No, their tails are just for balance. But they can't grab anything with their tail. Bananas. Hi, Momo. You guys could come down and come hang out. You could go on all the safe stuff that we built for you and spent so long on carefully crafting. Nope. Okay. I like the walls. They are soft, but they don't like being pet. Momo. Hi, Momo. Okay. I didn't know that was going to be happening. Hi, Harvestman. You should get out. Mama. Morning. Morning. Escape. You looking outside? You're outside. You got a monkey on your shoulder. Monkey. There's a monkey on Flip's shoulder right oh. now. Wait, walk over there. See if he'll go on a platform. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bigger platform. Salamander's just gifted 25 tier 1 subs. Salamander's, thank you for the su 25 subs? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. What do you think, Papa? <laughs> Yay. Cool. Thank you. Do they freak out from the noise? No. People pop, wow. Brokeman resubbed for six months. Brokeman, thank you for the sub. That's your enrichment rope. <laughs> thank you for the six months, Brokeman. Momo's back. Yes, that's so much more fun. We like it in here better.
Do they like to be held? No, not particularly. And they don't like being pet either. He likes me to hold them warm. He likes you as a transport device. Where do you want to go, buddy? It's a bar, isn't it? It's a bar. Do they bite? Um, Appa has bit people. Lolo That's. Is rubbing his face on the oh my god, cute. <laughs> I could watch them all day. Oh, you're in luck. <laughs> there are live cans on them on the Alveus channel, and they will be on them, so you guys can can watch them all day long. Is he itching? Yeah. That's cute. You like pecan wood? Yes. There is also a camera on the inside. Yes. Wow. Sneakiest resort for 37 months. Cat sitting very comfortably around. Sneakiest. Fire with its friends. Thank you for the 37 months. Do they get haircuts? No, they don't. That's just what they look like. Are they related to gorillas? They are primates. He's resting. <laughs> they are very smart. Oh my god, Momo. He's, he's lounging. Look at his foot stick out. Oh, you missed it. No. How much do they weigh? Uh, less than a pound. They both weigh less than a pound. quiet uh they make a lot of noises uh some of them small clicks some of them unbearable screams right now they're being very quiet though their claws are pretty sharp but their claws are very little these are both male they do stink um they they pee on everything so kind of smell like pee Claws are for climbing. They also eat some insects. It's a lie, isn't it? Banana. Do you love your banana tree? That is the less bearable vocalization I was talking about. But the mic is on the other side of the enclosure, so. <gasps> Yeah, that's tough. Do you want to come inside, Appa? Do you want to come inside? Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't think he's ever heard a car before. That's a lot of action. 
they're not capable of unlocking that door, no. They're not very strong, but there's also a lock on the other side of it, so they're like very not capable of that. Get back outside. Did he do that on his own? I started to open it for him. And he ran out. There was contact with the door. Cool. I think Appa's a little bit unsure. I yeah, he's a little clingy. Fine. $250 donation on Alveus. Thank you so much. What the heck? Thank you. That's awesome. Hi, Momo. Oh. Live cam. Itch. You're gonna look at yourself? I are. Do they understand their names? I think they do know their names. At least they know that we're talking to them if we say their name. What are you looking for? <laughs> I'm not worried about them biting the cables now. Cables are too big for their mouths. they be cold in the winter. Um, that's why they have an inside room. So they have some, uh, a climate controlled room. Huh? So we can keep their, their temperature in a range that makes sense for Brazilian monkeys. Or that is comfortable for Brazilian monkeys. So close. What you doing, Momo? Floor Lily donated. 
Fifteen dollars. Happy Monkey Day. Thank you. So happy for them and for all of the staff at Avlius. I'm overjoyed to be able to be here for things like this. Less than three. Good job, everyone. Thank you for the fifteen dollars. He's a cameraman. He's, a cameraman. <laughs> He's, a good one. He's operating the camera. <laughs> Wow. Dude man eight thousand five hundred and forty one resubbed for eight months. Dude man, thank you for the him. sub. Which one is this one? This one's Oppa. Oppa. If he's on you, it's Oppa. He's running at you. It's Appa. <laughs> if it has teeth. Red FB it's Appa. <laughs> Whoa! Boys, exclamation mark. Keep up the good work. Appa. Thank you for the hundred dollars. Um. That's like their substrate. No, that's the banana tree. That guy bought the banana tree. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for the $100. We're excited for it to be a big tree. What is the gel you feed them that you mentioned? It's like, it comes in a powder and you mix it with water it's and it smells like for 16 months. fruit. Um, but it's, it's made as like a marmoset diet. Yeah, it's a diet. It's a what? Caltricid. Caltricid diet. It's the big family that they're in, the Caltricid. Oh. Hey, bud. On the ground. FaceTime. Wow. You running. It's cute. What do you think about the substrate? It's pine mulch. He looks so little with you, like, sitting next to him. He's a little guy. He's so tiny. There he goes. Oh. oh. <laughs> Lounging. <laughs> Like Is that nice? <laughs> I'm glad we left the rocks in here. Banana tree. Yay! He loves it. The banana. We are gonna get a pot for that. I know it looks kind of silly right now. There will be a nice. To go on the yeah, there will be a nice pot. Are you screaming? It's nice. They seem much quieter up here. Yeah, right now. There's no walls gotta go. Nice flip. Thanks. What do you think? The ropes are gonna stairs I feel like there's a big learning curve for the ropes. Yeah. He likes jumping. I think they're not they're like it's unexpected like unexpected like how much they move. It's gonna take them a little while. You have high. Hey. Have fun. You doing okay? So I don't fun. have anything for you. Looking outside. Go, Momo. What's he doing? Yeah, that was like a weird cat sit. Mm -hmm. Uh oh.
small face, it's small monkey. Is this their home or just outside time? This is their brand new home. They moved in here today. Look at them sit. Um, but they also have an indoor enclosure that they have access to all the time. interaction. <laughs> Climb in. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Knocked a harvestman. Oh, there's another one. Uh, they're they're neither Gage nor siblings. Um, they are buddies. They're both male, but they're not related. They're different species. There's a Appa is a common marmoset, and you're looking at a black tufted marmoset. That's Momo. What kind of monkey? That is a black tufted marmoset, and there is a common marmoset in here as well. The common marmoset has the white tufts. Momo looks like a lion. He does. <laughs> he looks so pleased. Oh, Appa's picking him off the cargo net. He's still hunting. <laughs> One of y'all bought that cargo net. That was in the P.O. box, like, yesterday. about sub for the first time. Thank you, Breeze. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Can't. <laughs> oh my god, he does look like a what the heck? <laughs> that does not look like a monkey at all. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> You look like a, a lion. Fargoth 1234 subbed for the first time. Fargoth, thank you for the sub. Please. 
this dude? Wow. L64 subbed for the first time. Mama likes it. There was one chatter that was talking about, um, said something like having these in captivity is bad because it makes people think that they can offload them to zoos after they get them as pets. I think that's a very small percentage um, of people that take something like this and then think that that's an option. I think the, but of course it can go both ways. I think the bigger thing with these monkeys is that a lot of people don't realize that they're so accessible to get as pets and then that they're so hard to have as pets. So we got these in December and you guys have seen so little of them on stream because we had them inside um, and they were inside in a, in a cage being rehabilitated and now they're really healthy and they're good to be moved outside. Uh, but we were very, very careful to show them inside because we didn't want to present them as pets. We want to be very careful to present them as ambassadors, as uh, present them more like a zoo animal um, so that it doesn't look like something that you can have as a pet. I think it's more important and it weighs out quite a bit to teach people about the consequences of having one as a pet and the con not just for people but for these animals as well. But... You know, it's it is something that you weigh out. I think it, I think it goes both ways. I'm just a pretty firm believer in that it's it's more of a good thing than a bad thing. That makes sense. And for these, like all the other animals that we have here, because they're non-releasable, their their options are either being euthanized or remaining in captivity as ambassadors to teach people about the exotic pet trade and to teach people why you don't want them as pets and why they can end up in situations like this. And so I would rather them be in captivity and us, us take a shot at that mission than euthanize them. One thousand bits. Thank you for the bits. Uh, this is a non-profit. Yes, nonprofit sanctuary. Not all volunteers, though. We do have some volunteers. If you didn't run Alves, what would you do for a living? I would probably be working at zoos as a zookeeper. Does nonprofit mean you use donations to pay for staff? Uh, nonprofit means that we are run completely off of donations. That includes animal care, it includes the vet bills, it includes building enclosure, enclosures like this, it also includes paying for the staff that take care of these animals. Yes. What do they eat? They get lots of different, they get three different, but yeah, I don't get paid by all this. They get three different types of marmoset diet. It comes in three different forms, a biscuit form, a canned form, and a gel form. And they also get produce. They get some mealworms. <laughs> Are you on staff? I am the executive director and the founder. I do not get paid a salary. Oh my god, oh, he's scenes. cute. <laughs> he's helpful. He's a good cameraman. He's helping. <laughs> oh no, he found the jackpot up there.
Oh God, he did. Their food. Okay. Um, I might see if I can buy, or maybe I can bring like a stick out or something to just prop one of them open for a little while. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, how do you live then? Uh, I have my stream. I have this stream. So I make money off of streaming. I have a YouTube channel as well if you want to go check that out. I just posted a really cool conservation video um, about whales. Flip and I, cameraman. And I went out to Massachusetts and went whale watching. We made a video on that. Oh. And I have a podcast as well called Wine About It. I make money off of that as well. People pop, wow. Squonkin just gifted five tier one subs. Thank you for the five, Squonkin. Sure. You profit okay. off of that. Yes, I do. The occasional sponsors, you know, stuff like that. Just like stuff. offload them on a perch. He's got it. He, got, he has good balance. <laughs> Op is helping flip cameraman today. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> People pop, wow. <laughs> You've sold King Resupt for 17 months. Ooh, 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 you. <laughs> what do you think, Momo? Tell him about the mansion. Yes, I have a, I have a three hundred and ninety square foot tiny house on this sanctuary property. Thank you, Two Pair. Is the cow the biggest animal at the sanctuary? Um, no, the horse is, technically. Didn't like the truck. What do you think about that? I have not noticed them shedding, like a cat or a dog. The horse is bigger than the donkeys, yes. My horse is like 1,100 pounds. I think the donkeys are more like 700, if that. Okay. The smallest animal is probably our isopods. They're like really pulleys. Uh, my horse is 15.3 hands. No lemurs yet. Osero's not an ambassador. The monkeys get lots of different types of enrichment. They like foraging enrichment. They get boxes. They get um, hanging rubber balls with their gel diet in it. Uh, they get puzzle feeders. Pop, wow. um, large yellow duck just gifted get five lots of, tier Doesn't he look like sucks. a... Large yellow duck, thank you for the five. Doesn't he look like a lion when he lays like that? Isn't that weird? It's so weird. We are not open to the public. Uh, we are. We do all of our education virtually. Yeah. Are you open to being open to the public? No, Megalol. Uh, no, because I'm a streamer, um, and so it's a security risk to have it open, but also it's just better for our animals to um, not have public coming through. Nayaite unders coordinated $5. As much as they like Flip, you may just need to install him as a permanent <laughs> fixture in the enclosure. Okay, we'll do that. Wow. It's less stress for them. Matt subbed for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Somebody also said we should take them, or we should do like school programs. Are you gonna learn how to use that door? 
Uh, so because we're able to reach so many people globally online uh, via what we're doing here, uh, we don't think it's worth to spend the hours and the transport and all that stress uh, to get animals in vans and take them to schools. Uh, that's why all of our education is virtual. I have done school programs via Zoom. Uh, I've done several school programs for kids, but not taking the animals anywhere. Worth quotations. Yeah, when I say worth, I, I literally mean uh, it's not worth the staff's time um, to go teach 20 kids um, when we could be teaching thousands without leaving uh, and spending less time doing that. And it's not worth the stress that the animals undergo to teach 20 kids when they could be teaching thousands without even knowing that they're teaching anybody. Uh, you're looking at a black tufted marmoset right now. Don't get me wrong, I, before I did this, I was doing a conservation outreach education at zoos. So I was taking animals in vans to schools and doing programs and stuff like that. And for those zoos, it made sense because that was the only reach that we had to do education. Uh, for us, our reach is very different. The main reason we're not open to the public is one, because it's better for the animals here, but two, because uh, it's not safe for me as a streamer, especially a female streamer. It's a security risk to offer the address online, you know what I mean? <laughs> no touch. Are there differences between them besides the tops? Momo is a uh, slightly larger, like he weighs a little bit more. And Momo has had half of his teeth removed because he had dental disease um, because of improper diet before we had them. So it's like feeding a kid a bunch of candy and their teeth rot out. It's like what happened to him. Appa is, yeah, well, personality-wise, they're very different. Appa is much more um, extroverted, uh, much more in-your-face, if you will, enthusiastic, outgoing. <gasps> snacks? Monkey snacks? Can you come inside for snacks? It's snack time. We don't have issues with wild animals trying to get to our ambassadors. Our entire fencity fence, our entire fencity is our entire fence <laughs> for this property. Our entire property is fenced off. Oh my god! Oh my god! Something's wrong. The entire fencity is property. I think that's what I was gonna say. Too many questions answered <laughs> Dude, it does something to your brain when it's all the same questions and they're all attacking you. It like, sh I just shut off. <laughs> like, whoa, look at you go, buddy. Papa went inside. No, these are both male, so they're not hooking up. A propensity for the floppity. <laughs> Good camera and lens, yeah. Uh, our our uh, production quality at Elvis has skyrocketed. You want to go film Appa eating? Um, Can you? Happen, no, no, shoot Stop through here. Do you want these up, or did you? It's okay. Appa seems to have figured oh. it out. <gasps> oh. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah, he figured it out. He seems to have figured it out. 
And he ate some gel diet in there. Which is nice. Too easy. Too easy. I just want them to know that they get it. Wow. Right. Right for the first time. The right girl, thank you so much. Did they know each other before or were they introduced at OBS? They came together. Uh, the guy got Appa like a year before he got Momo. Um, and then they started living together, but we got them as a pair. Momo? Hi, guys. Do you want to go inside? Wow. He always sucked for the first time. Over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> He's good. Oh, okay. There's a rope, you guys. Mama. <gasps> Gel diet. Hi. They like it outside, huh? Papa, or Momo, you want gel Momo? diet? You want that? You don't have to do all that. You have ropes. Look. Climb on here. Thinking about it. Or you can go to the cargo net. Wow. Nick's too sub for the first yeah. time. I think he's like problem solving to get to you right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's doing it. Good job, buddy. Wow. Look at him go. Good job. They got to learn the ropes still. Yay. Kayla just wanted to show them that they have AC in that room, um, so they know they can go in there if they get hot. Pog, wow. Aracel Fear is subbed for six months. Maya he 4K. Thank you for the six months. Oh, hello, monkey. Pog, wow. <laughs> Xavi Ur subbed for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Are they strong enough to move the flaps? They are. Yeah, they have uh, started doing that already. Yeah, if you want to see them better inside, you can look at the Alvea's channel right now. The live cam's in there. Flip can't go in there because uh, the backpack F's in there. They are fully grown. He can, it's on Wi-Fi. We can try, I'm gonna be pissed wow. off. Anonymous Space. Five yeah. Subs. Anonymous, thank you for the five. These might have taken the lead for my favorite over Fenrir. Really? Mm -hmm. Flip's new favorite ambassador. Not those back outside. Oh. <laughs> I want to see Momo go through the door. Yeah. That's all I want. Are they related? They are not. Uh, they are different species. Black tufted marmoset and a common marmoset. Um, are they both adults? Yes, they are. They are full grown. This is as big as they get. What type of monkeys are they? This is a black tufted marmoset and the other one is a common marmoset. Is there hydration in the enclosure somewhere? Can we see it? Uh, yes, you are looking <laughs> directly at it. <laughs> there's two water bottles. There's, there's water on the inside and the outside. Wow. Cal 315 subbed for the first time. Cal, thank you. Actually working in here. How old do, yeah, you're good. How old do they usually get? Uh, I think like up to 18 years in captivity, something like that, 15 to 18, 15 to 20. Do they know how to drink though? Yes, they do know how to drink from a water bottle. That is what they're used to. 
What's their diet? They eat three different types of marmoset, special marmoset diet. They have a gel diet, a canned food diet, and a biscuit diet, and they also eat produce, sometimes mealworms. Is that him yelling out there? They don't do any tricks. No. And they do like eating harvestmen as well right now because they're in this enclosure. <laughs> Do these have an exact place for leaking? They are not potty trained, so no. They will go wherever. Very difficulty to potty train monkeys uh, as they are seed dispersers in the wild, so their job is to swing around and poop everywhere to help with forest regrowth. And that's one of the many reasons why they do not make good pets. It's also very unfair to monkeys to have them as pets. This is their first day in their brand new enclosure. This is their inside space, but they have a big outdoor enclosure too. Click back in the VOD a little bit if you want to see them out there. Um, it's very hot outside. It is hot outside. It's a heck of a yeah. day to be outside for the first time. Mm -hmm. So these two came, oh, there's one in here. The other one's outside came from a neglect situation in Austin. Someone bought them as pets and then didn't take care of them properly, so they came to us with a list of medical problems, malnutrition, metabolic bone disease, dental disease. Um, one of them had pretty bad uh, mobility in his back legs. And so we have done some rehabilitation over the last six months. Um, and now they are here as ambassadors to teach people about the exotic pet trade, why they should not have monkeys as pets, why it's irresponsible to have them as pets, that it's not good for the monkeys to have them as pets, and it's not good for their wild populations either, because the demand that comes from the online pet trade a lot of times leads to taking animals out of the wild, which is obviously bad for wild populations. So we stick to cats and dogs here, folks. For the first time. You can go back outside. You should release them. So these guys are non-releasable because they were born in captivity and raised by people. And so if we release them, they would die. They don't know how to take care of themselves. Um, they're also Brazilian, so if we release them in Texas, they would mega, mega die. Um, and so their options are either euthanasia or remaining in captivity here as we give them the best lives possible and they can teach people about um, the exotic pet trade and about marmosets as a whole. The lifespan of one of these 15 to 20 years in captivity. Appa has gone through the dog door, the like little window thing on his own. Momo has not. You're looking at Momo right now. Appa's out there on his own. Well, I guess. Hmm? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Did he hose? We don't know. Um, Appa is lounging outside. Is he? Is it ethical to have an animal sanctuary? I don't know. Um, I think everyone has a different opinion on it. For us, with all of the animals that we have here, it's either euthanize them or they live at the sanctuary with us and. We use them for education programs and hopefully help their species as a whole. 
Um, in that case, I do think that it's ethical. I think these monkeys are really happy wow. around people. I think we give them really, really, really yeah, high quality of life. And so I in think that they're much better off. Do they live in packs or alone? Thank you. I think they're much better off living here than being euthanized. I think it would be a shame to euthanize these individuals. Happy months. Thank you. Uh, they do live in colonies in the wild, yeah. Gifted a tier one sub to detach it, optimist. This is their first gift right sub. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at him go. He's finding this is not banana or apple. <laughs> Dr. K Raid, thank you so much. Hope you had a good stream. Hi, everybody. Um, we have just introduced two of our marmosets or two marmosets to their brand new enclosure. This is the indoor part of their outdoor enclosure where they have AC. So we're just hanging out, watching them adjust to their new space. These two marmosets were rescued from a neglect case in Austin where someone bought them as a pet and didn't properly take care of them. So they had a bunch of medical issues. We rehabilitated them for the past six months and now they're outside and they're here to teach people about the exotic pet trade and the exploitation of wild animals, particularly monkeys. I love the ropes, thank you, we worked hard on them. How did you get permission to keep them? Is it trust or legal? It's definitely legal. Uh, we have lots of permits, both through USDA and Texas Parks and Wildlife and US Fish and Wildlife. Um, so we, we do have to get permits to have all the, uh, not all of the animals, but a lot of the animals that we have here. They are fully grown. Sub. These are monkeys. Yep, yep. Mm. We do not give them baths. No, they they clean themselves. Wow. Charlie man sub for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Why do they have flaps and not just open windows? There's AC in here, so we want to let out as little AC as possible. But then also we may want to close them in this room at night, so we have to be able to close it. Yeah, and they have to have, they have to have the AC in here because they're native to Brazil. So they are only made to live in, you know, a, a small range of temperatures or, or whatever temperature ranges in Brazil. And in Texas, it gets really hot. I think online it says between like 65 to 95 and I was like, mm, the entire summer is out. <laughs> 65 to 95 degrees is their range. Is it difficult navigating people angry about you having a sanctuary due to uneducation about how crucial sanctuaries are? No, I, I think that pretty much everybody that is upset about seeing an animal in captivity is upset for the right reasons. Um, and actually the root of it is very similar to how we all feel taking care of these animals. I think people don't wanna see animals in captivity and I think that's like the first and most important step in wanting a better natural world 
and wanting their natural habitats to exist. The problem uh, that they don't understand is these are not animals that we took out of the wild to to ooh and awe at. You know, the, the animals that we have here are non-releasable. So it's either euthanize them or they teach people uh, about their species and hopefully we make an impact on helping those species by having them as ambassadors. I really believe in the educational model of getting to know a particular animal and then caring about their species because you know that animal. I think it's powerful. Okay. Yeah, I'll text you. Thank you. Yeah, ideally, this this wouldn't be the case for them. Ideally, they would be in the wild, you know? I get it. I think a lot of zoos do a bad job. I think there are a lot of people that want exotic pets and want to call it a zoo. Uh, and I think people just get defensive because they assume that, that that's the case here. It's just not. But we all come from the same place. We all want the same things for animals. And that's healthy wild habitats. You know? Hmm. You need water? I don't know if there's any more in here. There's not any more in here. Do you want to switch? Hmm? Do you want to switch? Yeah, I don't know. We're kind of just riding it right now. So are these taken from the wild? Uh, no, these two were bred in captivity for the pet trade. Someone bought them as pets. Actually, yeah, Space, would you mind bringing a water up here for Flip? You need some colors in this room or a tree. Uh, they have a lot more stuff to, to look at outside. And there's a lot of colors out there. If you guys see stuff about the pet thing, can you just spam a command? I'm, my, my lips are going to fall off. Do we have one for them? We do, right? Thank you. I'm going to see if they want to come outside. Mama, you know how to use that door? Oh, it's like so quiet outside. Hi, Nemo. Oh, wow. Welcome out. Cat bug underscore incorporated resubbed for 19 months. Yo, these cats got a nice crib. Thank you for the, thank you for the sub. I opened it a little bit for him. Yeah, we're in Austin, wow. Texas. Red surfs resubbed for 42 months. Red surfs, Beautiful thank cat. you. Oh, hold on. I'm going to go get that water for Flip. Thank you. Oh, two waters. Thank you. Where are these native to? They are native to Brazil. La 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 la. Here you go. You want me to open it? <laughs> Here, switch with me. Oh, okay. 
Let's go outside. Where do you live? Do you have a special license? We do have special licenses to have these monkeys, yes. Um, through USDA, Texas Parks and Wildlife. But, unfortunately, you don't need special permits in Texas to have these as pets, which is a tragedy and a half. You guys like it outside? Welcome to the outdoor part of their enclosure, everybody. Live cam. There is a plate out there. Hmm? There is a plate out there, just like a heads up. I don't think you can really see it. Yeah, I think it is. Almost loose from the other ones. Hmm. They have their first sunset today. Oh, that's that's really cute. That's true. He's had a feast up there. He's eating harvestmen. What do you think, Papa? Whoa. You climbing? Do you understand the concept of like this as a way to get over there? I can't tell. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> it's a long rope. That one's kind of a challenge. This is a rope to hang enrichment off of. Um, so like toys and stuff, basically. Foraging feeders, puzzle feeders, things like that. Things for them to play with. But these ropes are all for getting from, getting from. Thank you. No, we're not planning it on planning on taking any more. This is, uh, at the moment, this is just for the two of them. Where is it? Oh. What do you think? Connor may do his tire swing. Do you like it? What is their favorite food? Banana. They really like banana. He's really itchy. You sit in. How do they stay warm at night? Um, they have a climate controlled room inside. They also have a bunch of blankets. They do like sleeping under blankets, even inside. Right now, they, or until today, they've been sleeping inside uh, the nutrition house with AC and they, they're just fine, so. kind of monkeys are these? Um, this is a common marmoset that you're looking at right now. The poo poo and pee pee smells bad. Do you think they'll freak out when they experience heavy winds and rain for the first time? I have no idea how they'll react to that. I think, where is he? Oh. oh. Um, I think that uh, with rain, this enclosure is fully covered, so it won't rain on them. If it's raining sideways, they may experience rain. I, I, I don't know. Papa, too much. Oh my god. I 
don't think they would like a splash pad. How old are they? I think they're, I think they're three and four. I think that, uh, I think Momo's four and Appa's three. I, it says it on the, on the, oh, I'm blanking on the name, on the extension. Oh, but it says two and three, but we've been saying three and four. They're young, but full grown. They'll live to be 15 to 20 years in captivity. 500 bits. Thank you for the bits. Hi. Can I see chat? like them? <laughs> they are iPad kids. They love screens. Oh my god. He read my message. Wow. Egg White is underscore just gifted five tier one subs. Egg White, thank you for the five. Thank you so much. How long have we been live? We, we started at 11. 11? 11 today. I have one, two. We've almost been like four hours. Not bad. Um. Almost four hours. No, they don't really care for being pet. Or like snuggled, none of that. Do they like water and or baths? No, not particularly. Not that we know of yet. I mean, I guess we've never really offered them a pool, but I don't think they would be into it. I would be scared if they would drown. <laughs> it is crazy. I know you guys didn't see much of Appa when we got him in December, but he could not have done this climbing that he's doing today. He was kind of like dragging around the entire back half of his body because he had metabolic bone disease. And, um, so I'm blanking on the word again for this, uh, muscular atrophy so he couldn't really use his back legs now he's so strong they clean themselves yeah how did you treat him for the first couple weeks they got meds twice a day I know one of those meds was calcium and I don't remember what the other one is um, I don't think it would matter to very many of you <laughs> so they were getting meds twice a day and then Kayla's done a lot of jump ups with Appa so in a way physical therapy in that he's built a ton of muscle just doing jumps from the table to her hand and then they've also had a I think it's a UVB light on them to help absorb nutrients better and then the the biggest most obvious one is that we completely switch their diet to something that's a complete diet that has all of the vitamins and nutrients and minerals that they need to be healthy because before they were not getting what they needed to, to be healthy. So they're just doing much, much better for that reason as well. How do you do with emergencies? Um, you just dropped a big group on your back. Oh. Oh, man. What the heck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so lucky for us, 
there's pretty much always someone on site here because I live here, I live at the sanctuary, and so does Ella, our animal care coordinator. And so there's pretty much always someone on site, but then also because we have live cams running all the time, um, we always have eyes on our animals, so we kind of always know if there's something wrong, something going on. Holy spiders, that's a lot. Those are harvestmen up there. Uh, they're arachnids, they're not technically spiders. They're completely harmless. They don't have the mouth parts that they need for biting. Like they physically cannot bite you. Um, and their venom is harmless to humans and animals. So the monkeys have been eating them a little bit. It's not a big deal that they eat them. But very soon, I think the harvestmen will learn that this is not the place for them to be unless they want to be constantly harassed. How many animals does your sanctuary have? Uh, like 40 or something, not including the insects. If you include the insects or our critter cave, it's hundreds. Thirty-five to forty, and a thousand harvestmen. <laughs> so many harvestmen. Eat the spider. Appa is more into eating the spiders than Momo is. Why did they move like that? They got really long legs. They're just kind of shaky. Appa, what are you doing? Do you come? You gonna get on flip? He wants to harvest me. Oh. His name is Appa. Appa. Appa and Momo. On my head. Sorry. It's tough. I quit. <laughs> it's just on your hat. If there wasn't a monkey on my shoulder, I would be very upset. It's a whole lot of legs. That was a whole lot of legs. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Um. This went way better than. Oh, look, he's inside. Momo! Do you like it in there? You come over here. This introduction went way better than I thought. I was worried that they would be more worried about being introduced to this enclosure. But, oh, hello. But they did really, really great. I think they're pretty happy. Um, they seem to be adjusting well. I'm very excited to see how they... Oh, are you comfy? I'm excited to see how they use this space. Um, again, they, they are just only used to having a small cage inside. So this is life changing is a literal description of what this is, but it's just so huge for them. I'm really, really excited for them and they're doing so much better. Um, I think they're gonna make really, really great ambassadors. We are gonna watch them all day on the Alveus channel and just like see what they do and see what they get up to. Um, and, you know, see what they enjoy. So go follow the Alveus channel. Make sure to watch it on there. We have the live cam up right now. So you can watch them all day and see how they're getting along. We'll come in a bunch and, you know, check on them and make sure they're all set and happy. Um, but, yeah, that is it. I'm going to start up the raid for Alveus. I will uh, not be live tomorrow. Um, I don't know when my next... I'll probably stream either Monday or Tuesday, like a car stream or a backyard stream. I'm not sure. And then on Wednesday, we are going to 
do a stream at an animal shelter uh, in Austin, and we're going to meet some of their adoptable dogs and cats. Um, so you guys can meet some of them. That is an IRL for next week. And then, oh, Zoyle's collab is on Tuesday. Thank you. Yeah, we have Zoyle's collab on Tuesday, so Zoyle will be coming out here on Tuesday. That is our first June collab. Our second June collab is Extra Emily. That is June 22nd. Um, so, yeah. Let's just keep an eye on them, on the Alves cams. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your questions today. Appreciate it. Uh, good stream. I'll see you guys next week. I'll see you on the Alvea's channel today, too, obviously. But, yeah. See you later. Thank you so much for watching. This was very fun. They're very happy. I'm very happy. Good stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a big jump. <laughs> okay. All right. See you guys next week. Thank you. Oh, also, very quickly, I just want to say, also, these monkeys, like, this is not everyone's, like, oh, great work that you're doing. The only reason that we're able to have these monkeys in an enclosure like this and rescue them and have them in this situation is because you guys support Alveas. That is the only reason that we have the money that we have to do this um, and that we have the ability to educate people like we do. So that's, this is you guys, too. Thank you so much. Seriously. It's very cool. Very cool system. See you guys next week. Goodbye. Viewers like you. <laughs>